And we start tonight at 6.30 with questions about a tragic mystery in eastern New Mexico. Two toddlers died in a recent house fire. Clovis police says the victims were just one and two years old and they tell Brianna Wilson they're still working to figure out what caused this fire. But Brianna, they also gave an update on another deadly fire that happened just a few months ago in the same area. Yeah, a lot of tragedy in a short period of time for this small New Mexico community. Clovis PD says they're still investigating this fire, but have answers on another fire that claimed the lives of four people. The fire department got on scene within a few minutes. They were able to get the fire extinguished. Just before 10 Wednesday morning, Clovis Police and Fire Services responded to 206 Axtell Street, but it was too late. Unfortunately, once they got the fire extinguished, two children were located in the area where the fire had been, and both of the children were deceased. The children were ages one and two years old. A Clovis family losing so much more than just their home. Uh, we would like to say that the family has received some assistance through the Salvation Army and Red Cross. Um, who were on scene almost immediately and, and assisting with finding them a place to stay. This is the second deadly fire in the small New Mexico community in recent months. And I said, please hurry, there's a fire, there's people in there screaming, they're going to burn to death. Just a few blocks away from Axtell Street, four people died in an apartment fire in January, even after repeated calls for help from neighbors. He said, okay, ma'am, we're on our way. They never came. I called again and again. Clovis police tell us their investigation revealed that fire was an accident. As for the fire on Axtell Street. So we're still actively working to try to determine the cause of this fire. Um, with the damage to the residents, it's not safe for them to be in the residence at this time. Now, Clovis police say this is still an early and active investigation. They've not yet released the names of the young victims or their family. They ask anyone with information on how this fire may have started to call police. Tessa, Ryan.